Right, welcome back folks to Kerno EXP. Today we're going to have a fly around Portreef and we're going to head over towards that hill which is called the Cake. So let's go folks. So this is the harbour right now. This once was a hive of activity. It was an importer of Welsh steam coal and that steam coal powered the Cornish mining industry in this area. So... So if you live locally and you're from this part of Cornwall and you come down here now and again you'll know how much of a stink that is. Let's go over and have a look folks. And I believe Many years ago, what they used to do is harvest this and spread it over the fields to give more nutrients to the fields. It's kind of a fertilizer. Uh, it is quite whiffy, folks. Whoa, flipping. There's loads of it here, isn't there? Look at it. Jeez, man. I think. Uh, you know, if you're a farmer, I don't know how you'd stand about being allowed to come down and just harvest it because it's just piled up. But it's bloody, bloody stinking. So yeah, anyway, I just thought to show you that one. Let's uh, carry on, folks. So a few years ago, folks, this bit of wall here was breached by a big storm. And uh, obviously it's been rebuilt now. You can see the new bit. This is all new now. But you can see the old bit just there. But uh, so I'm glad it was replaced because it won't be the same without having it there. And uh, this plaque uh, donates uh, about it. Yes, the storms of 2014 and 18. Remember it well, folks. If you check it out on YouTube, you'll be able to see it. But, uh, a couple of friends of mine were down here at the time. I'm not sure you can hear me okay, hopefully. Uh, and the pepper pot, which is that white thing at the end of the pier, was washed away, folks. So, uh, anyway, let's get down on the beach and go up the hill. Let's go, folks. Right, so welcome to Portreef Beach. Uh, we don't tend to come down here very often, folks, even though it's my local beach. And I used to come here a lot as a kid, but these days we don't really get here. So this stream has always flown. So uh, I hope the stabilization is working. <laughs> so yeah, we're working our way across to the hill over there. And we've not been up there for God knows how long, but that's where we're heading to. So I'm not sure I'm going to film all of it, folks, because I don't want to cram the whole video up we're just climbing up the hill but uh, we will get bits of it and uh, this place everywhere around though folks I've just noticed all of a sudden everywhere's changed you know there's all this modern construction going on it's it's quite crazy how much uh, these places have changed but uh, let's hope it doesn't change too much more there's a story about uh, here, there's a cave that goes in. Now, it's been said on many different legends over the years that uh, you can actually, what I'm referring to is here, folks, you can, or you used to be able to, I don't think you can do it now, but there's a tunnel apparently that up there, which goes in and uh, Legend supposedly says that it goes all the way to Clarn Bray, so I don't know how true that is. I think it's a load of old uh, cobblers. But uh, my mate um, from years ago, Dean, climbed up in there and he said that it goes off on a very long tangent. But uh, back then, as children, we never had torches and all the kit we've got these days. But, uh, 
Yeah, there is a few cracks there, so it's been like this for donkey's years, folks. Right, so let's carry on. Meet you on the hill. Right, folks, so uh, just giving you an idea of how steep the path is here. It's pretty steep. We'll see you when we get up the top, folks. Right folks, uh, we've not been here before. This is part of Portreef that's escaped our attention till now. So we've got some kind of construction here. To me, looks like a pillbox, but don't know right now. We shall have a look. It does look uh, compelling. No, it's older than that. It's a very old possible lighthouse or something along those lines. So we're at an area where we've never stepped foot before until now. So let's uh, let's go down here. So that in front of us is Gold Rock. Never seen it from this angle before. Amazing. There's another sort of construction there. What is that? It's obviously something to do with that up there, isn't it? Right, well, I think we're going to base ourselves here now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, actually, I'll just have a little look here in a minute because I've come quite a way today, so I don't want to just uh, stop right now. So what we got down here? Is it a sheer drop? Probably. Right, okay. Okay, so yeah, we'll have a little look here in a minute. Sorry about the wind noise if you can hear it. Pretty safe here, which is cool. So years ago, folks, there used to be I've seen fishermen off this bit here in the past. <coughs> I reckon that foundation was something to do with a, a beacon of some description. Uh, very, very interesting indeed. So obviously that, that wall there is extremely old and there would have been like a path there but uh, over the years it's all, it's all gone folks so we'll uh, 
continue for a moment. A little mosey. Wow, look at this. Proper little like, path, isn't it? Like a walkway. This probably originally was the coast path at one time, I should imagine. So I don't know what's the other side of that. Oh, yeah. I know where we are now, so it's all good. Right, okay, folks. Drone bit next.
Do hope you enjoyed the video, folks. We will be back later in the week. From all of us at Kurnow EXP, cheers and gone!